Hey everyone, it's Peanut Butter Kong, and in today's video I have something very special that took a very, very long time. But basically it's just the um, ultimate end point of the game, because I've literally just about beat every single thing in the game. And I'm just going to walk you through what I mean. And for those of that you have followed me lately, you've been knowing that I've been trying to get to level 200 in every single skill that there exists in the game. Um, obviously I've gotten some of these gatherings in the past, like the fishing. But no, most notably recently, I finished off 200 in all of the crafting skills, as well as all the refining skills here. Um, I do have some hints on how to do it, how to do it profitably, but we're going to leave that for another video. I think there's some things out there that were semi-common that um, I've noticed a lot of people who've tried to do something similar recently are doing it inefficiently, but that's for another time. And for those of you that have followed me in the past or are just joining me now, I've gotten maxed out weapons, I've literally have done every single quest in the game, and kind of fun fact, this is probably one of the cleanest maps I imagine you will probably see. Um, I did take off some of my faction quests here, but any quest that is actually open right now is just all the ones that are repeatable, that you could keep on doing and doing forever and you actually can't com properly complete them ever. Um, but I've obviously have been through all these dungeons, and I'll just kind of show you um, a little bit into my bio, because I think that as I scroll by, you could probably see some of the things I've unlocked. I've killed a lot of, um, I've had some pretty high kill counts here. I've done the expedition bosses. I've um, done a lot of PvP content. Like I have 100 wins in Outpost Rush, which I think some people maybe assume that, oh, you're just a PvE player because you have 200 in skills and you've done zero PvP. It's just not so accurate. Um, I've done a lot of, or a good amount of PvP, I would say. Um, a good amount. And I'm probably going to be doing more PvP because that's really the only thing, I guess, left in the game for me right now. Since I basically have unlocked everything that there is to unlock. You know, multiple houses with storages and um, major trophies and kind of all the major trophies uh, in the game that I want. And... Um, as you can see, I have a lot of total kills, and I also have some things where I've like completed all the quests in the game, so it's pretty cool. Um, I've obviously done a lot, and um, for those of you kind of semi-interested in this as well, I should have a little special treat in this video too, because you've probably never seen anyone that have completed every single journal piece in the game. Um, I found them all. And I'm going to throw actually a little asterisk on these, because some of these actually don't exist in the game. Um, as you can tell, all these I've, are maxed out right now that I've scrolled by. So I've obviously have a lot in. There are a good amount in the game that actually exist. But there are actually a couple that uh, do not exist in the game. Like, for example, I'm just looking at this Everfall's Wreckage. I don't believe there actually is a page one of this. And um, something I'll just say, like I just looked at, which, for example, in Garden of Genesis, I found out that there is maybe an actual note um, that exists behind a walled off wall, but it's walled off and I'm pretty sure the developers covered it later in the game, but stuck the note behind it by accident. And there's a couple like that in the game where they don't actually exist or they're act maybe even stuck behind something. Something like this that I actually thought was odd was this one silence thing right here. Um, as you can tell, we are, or as you might be able to tell, we're looking above Windsward right now. Um, and I thought this journal actually didn't exist. I saw it located on the map on your old database, um, which is I recommend is how you find some of these remaining journal pieces. But I kind of figured it actually wasn't available to be found. Um, but actually found a way up here. Um, took me a little bit of time. I'll share that in another video. This is kind of just to kind of show you that. This stuff, I guess, is possible, and someone out there has basically have done every single thing in the game. Um, obviously, getting all of the crafting, refining, gathering things is quite difficult. I did it all on my own, didn't receive any help, didn't receive any money. Um, a little bit of other fun facts, I haven't like gotten lucky with a craft and like sold like some best-in-slot weapon. Um, I haven't... like. Uh, found some like random rare items and sold it for a gold cap nothing odd um just kind of did it all myself just kind of natural grinding and flipping items in the auction house um for those of you curious this is maybe what it could look like a little bit 
of once you've um, completed everything in the game. Obviously, I was playing the game and it was like harvesting and stuff before there was this um, 200 plus category they could go over to now. It was 200 there for a while and you know some of these would look a little bit different obviously if they had this 200 plus category system from day one. But uh, that's what uh, I basically have done in the game. I've been everything that I can reasonably think of. Um, right now I'm in a guild that owns Everfall so I think it'll be fun playing some PvP and actually just kind of screwing around a little bit more and having not really any kind of tasks left to do in the game, but just kind of focusing on getting some good gear that's maybe even not what I have currently. Um, that'll be fun. Just kind of uh, for fun here, I have a lot of like crafting supplies, a lot of Asmodium, have just a lot of various crafting stuff in the game. Um, also, uh, something that's I'd say is pretty tough to do as well is I've gotten very close to probably having all the named items in the game that I could reasonably think of. Like you can tell these are all named um, muskets. Some of them are more popular. I'd say are easier to get than others. Some of them are probably a bit rare. Um, some rare things I was kind of showing for someone that's like quite odd are actually like uh, some of these really odd um masks that exist in the game like this fearless spies cow where this almost like this like wizard looking hat i'm kind of surprised they honestly have this is like one of the only proper like wizard looking hats has some like weird cage thing um there's some fun designs that probably people haven't really seen or they may be made special at some point at a lower level and effectively you would never reasonably use um some like odd resources in the game. I have like a town full of like legendary fish and stuff like that. Um, I have absolute amounts of powerful incenses in like various towns that I've maxed out basically um, from leveling up my furnishing. Um, some odd stuff. Uh, I definitely still have a decent amount of money in either materials or gold. Um, I leveled up this stuff kind of smartly. I'm kind of hoping to share with you this. Um, uh, some of the more difficult aspects, I think, or some of like my own take on what I could do. Um, I think I'm going to be releasing a couple videos here um, and to show you a little bit more about the game, what I know. If you guys end up having any questions on anything, please feel free to ask. There's a reasonable chance I probably have done it. Um, so let me know if there's any kind of questions we have, any comments. Let me know. I'm happy to help out. And I'll see you until next time. Peace.